Welcome back! Oh. We're the Bourbon Junkies. He's Dan, I'm Sean. Today we review... I promise I'm happy to be here. 13th Colony Double Oak Bourbon Whiskey. Realistically, would have made uh, top 10 Whiskey of the Year last in, year if we would have had it. In theory, it may have. Yeah. All right, so this is 13 Colony Cask Strength Double Oaked Bourbon Whiskey. It is a 67.7% ABV. It's a dork. It's aged in two new bourbon barrels. This 13 Colony Cask Strength Bourbon may well be the South's most decadent nightcap. Sounds you know what makes this story time better? You whiskey. pouring me whiskey. Okay. Why, why did I do that? I, why? why? Why do I give you bottles? Why? That wasn't even, I, I'm gonna be honest, it's swear disrespectful. to God. It is, and it wasn't even intentional. I, that was, you wanna share some of that? I mean, it's 140 proof. I don't need like a two ounces of it. That's, yeah. All right. It's pretty close. So. Disrespectful. Yeah. The box was seasoned last time if you I'm did a review. If I'm being honest, I just kinda felt like a bar. We don't batch these, so it wasn't like 10 seconds ago or anything. I felt like a bartender. Produced and bottled my 13th colony in Georgia. So 13th Colony for us no, is known Ooh. for making one of our favorite like budget ryes, value yeah. ryes. It's the, like the, the teal bucks. label rye, we had it blind and we we're like, we pay hundred bucks for that. Yeah, thought and it was like, like a fancy rye. Hey, by the way, it's like 30 bucks. Yeah. <laughs> oh. This is the color of motor oil. Yeah. That would come out it's of your car after you drove it 10,000 miles. It's got that little bit of a red tinge to her. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's so ooh. sweet. Oh my gosh. It's like, Cotton candy and chocolate. It's like if you could make a stroop waffle better. I... <sighs> it's really, really, really intense caramel oak. Um, just creme brulee fruit. I might, I might um, delicious. smell that for the rest of my whole life. So this bottle was sent to us by a friend named Ivan Indrelin. And hey, buddy. we- Name on the screen. Um, had a sample of this from 13th Colony very okay. recently. And then this bottle showed up from Ivan. Thank you, buddy, for Yeah, the sample, that. we were like, wow, that was amazing. This and then is I'm... not in Michigan. This whiskey, I believe, is their distillate. I think That's it was- That's what it said. It says produce and bottle. Oh, did it? Produce can mean a lot of things, but I do right. actually think it's theirs. I, okay. I could be, somebody will tell me if I'm wrong, I'm sure, but I do believe that's their whiskey. The fact that a craft yeah. distillery, 13th County's done a really good job at keeping prices down on a lot of products. The rye and the bourbon, the American whiskeys are relatively value-wise cheap. I mean, like, oh, they I, they do both. This is might be redder. Yeah, I mean, they both have that red tinge. We might have found the first bourbon that I would smell and go, Coy Hill. <laughs> Realistically, that I wasn't Coy Hill, because normally Coy Hill. It's Hill's... got a little bit uh, like the oakier profile than Coy Hill does for sure. sure, because that double oak. But man, it is super sweet, and like I said, it's just got it's cotton candy and chocolate all in one, and I'm I'm there for that ride. Now I'm really, can somebody actually tell me in the comments if this is 13th Colony Distillate? Because <laughs> now that I'm smelling it, I'm like, that smells like Brown Foreman even. And I may have just placeboed myself mm -hmm, into that, but. Mm -hmm. Happy to help. It smells like Stroop Waffle with a dark honey from a local bee farm. The honey comes through on the palate, like really, really good. The The palate is so much of that, that honey, really dark chocolate, coffee in the finish. Cotton candy a little bit, like that sugar sweetness mid-palate. It's wild. I just wanted to happen twice. Um, I was talking, I'm pretty sure that the camera zoomed in. I, I mean, I'll find out when I edit this, but I'm pretty sure you were doing things. Okay. Hmm. Oh my gosh, dude. You know what needs to be playing in the background right now is Can You Take Me Higher by Creed. Every time we take uh, one sip, it just plays that. We just get, uh, <laughs> yep. <laughs> DMCA struck already. Thank yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, Oh, there's a uh, my oh. gosh, <laughs> dude! I don't wherever you're at, just find it. I don't even have a different suggestion. I don't. There's nothing else to say about it. Just find it. Don't care where you live. It's somewhere. There's a little uh, like floral aspect too. Now that I'm I'm going back and forth between the palate and the nose, there's a, a little. You're just gonna go, George Stag Stag at it, huh? Um, this guy's got like a slight rose water like smell to it. Just subtle. I don't, I'm gonna be honest. I think this was $80. Oh, that's the, one of the, let's talk about who. That might be one of the best $80 bottles we've ever. ever on planet earth ever once. B-Tax 100. <laughs> In theory, you could have found this for 80. Now, the 
the thing that people will actually find interesting in this review is they're releasing a batch two of this this year. So I mean, what I would recommend is like, just figure out where this is distributed to and move there for a short period of time. <laughs> and then when this comes out, purchase it, sell that house and move back home. Mark, it's awful right now. That does not drink <laughs> 135 proof in any way, shape or form. Like legitimately, I don't get anything really. Like I just kind of rolled it around, little bite on the tongue. You know there's some proof there, but it washes down so oily. It doesn't upset the tum tam. Tum tam? I don't. Tim tam? There you go. It's like if God made Milky Ways. I. It's like the best candy bar you've ever I don't think it's eaten. Got, well, is that a nougat in a Milky Way? Yes. Not nutty though. No. Snickers got nuts. Thank you. Milky Ways don't. Gosh dang. You're onto something there. If they made Milky Ways better, it would taste exactly like that whiskey. I don't. There's not even a different tasting note. It's the best. That is a top three whiskey of the year period. I that I genuinely believe that this beats the shit for me personally, not for everybody, obviously. It could have snuck in third for Yes. Me. I believe that beat this beats Woodford Bashproof, which is freaking wild. But. Someone's here to murder us. Two thousand years later. All right. So I don't know where we're at. We um, are but we're back. Talking about how great this whiskey was. Um <sighs> I, now here's the thing. I am that, a big I mean, fan of double oak products. I, that was, you want to share some of that? I mean, it's 140 proof. I don't need like a two ounces of it. That's yeah. I don't know how many people that we could probably blind this to and yeah. then talk about how expensive they think this would be. I, I actually hundred percent agree with that. It does like, come across very, um, either, either ultra aged or yeah. like a more premium specialty product. One of those two categories. But. I mean, realistically, off the nose alone, like I, um, I would look at it and be like, all right, probably finished. And then you smell it, you're like, probably double barreled. And then you but smell then, it again, you go, maybe Coy Hill. I don't. <laughs> I was like, dude, that's got to be like 10 years old. Yeah. And you you smell agree. it, and it's like very, very well aged and put together. That's why I want to know if it's theirs. This, these are their tasting notes, and I agree with damn near all of them. Oh. Maple smoked bacon. Okay. Cream yeah. soda. That's mm. an interesting one. I don't really? know. Really. Uh, orange blossom. Toffee blend ma with maple drizzled pancakes, 100%. I mean, on that. that. Dry aged beef, peppercorn, and sea salted caramel with a very long finish. Man. Good tasting notes. Um, I don't, I don't I agree with got, some of them. I got peppercorn right there, though. I don't know about dry aged beef because I'm not. Uh, dry aged beef is usually like a little bit more of that umami. Like, um, <laughs> it's, it's funky. Umami. It's, it's a little funky. You just pour more and then instantly shoot it like a child. But this ain't a ba. It was just a nip. How much did you pay for that in a bar? That's where people will find it now, I think. Um, Still in some stores, If actually. that was $25 oh my for a pour, I wouldn't even care. I and, get a and double. an $80 uh, bottle, yeah. I mean, realistically, it wouldn't be that high. There were people talking about in our WLW and Georgie Stag, sorry, Georgie Stag, take it back. They were like, there was a bar that had it for like $40. Oh, wow. So uh -huh. if, if you can get, Awful. I mean, $40 for a pour. Yeah. Okay. I do throw me out. Twenty five on that for sure. Easy. Uh, that's an A plus. Uh, yeah, that this is fantastic. That's an a plus. I don't know how many good things we can actually say about this. It's this is just really, really it's good. Very whiskey. sweet, a little savory. I don't even care if it is dark. whiskey. It's free. I don't either. I'd just be interested to know because if they did make this, I think it's even more impressive. Mm -hmm. So, um, that's really whew. good. I In mean, theory, the word "produced" would mean that, but we know distilleries that use the word "produced" and don't make their own stuff. So. If not, I mean, they might have sourced stuff, but they still double barreled it. I'm assuming. Yeah. They didn't buy it. Yeah, double -barreled. yeah, definitely. Um, so they had some hand in this. Yeah, Whoever just, put it together did a really, really good job. I just got like this a slightly burnt s'more. Yeah, I on agree. The finish. Then. Yeah, because I get that like uh, coffee, mm -hmm. like dark chocolate coffee <sighs> note. It sits so well. That's phenomenal whiskey. I got a little tingle on that one. Thank you, 13th but Colony, still. for making that whiskey. It's so oily. The rest of their whiskeys are really good. It ain't this good, though. But they're good around like their price range. And they're really good around their price range for craft. That is built different. That's, that's just good, good. That's built different whiskey. That's just that good, good. If you were jacked, that'd be the whiskey you drank. <sighs> I can't with you right now already <laughs> with this dumb, dumb conversation. Oh, Dan has to go be a dad. This is the talk out. Peppa Pig. Just buy that. It's needs, freaking phenomenal. Needs attention. It's probably got an ad in it. Oh my gosh. Freaking, who puts ads on their video? He does put ads in their videos. What is it? I don't, I don't know if I need more talk out, but you guys. Oh, that table. Don't care. That's a cool table. I've never seen that. Oh, and the chairs. <coughs> Are you, 